If you read Genesis chapter 6 yesterday, you heard how all of humanity's evil, wickedness, corruption, and violence had led the Lord to regret making humanity and making the awful decision that God was going to wipe out every living creature on the face of the earth and start over. And God asked a lot of Noah. Noah had to build an ark. He had to gather two of every animal on the face of the earth. I don't know how he did it. Um, and he had to gather his family. And God promised to establish his covenant with him. So there was a lot of work that Noah had to do with his family. And we're told both at the end of chapter 6 and then again in our verse for today, chapter 7, verse 5, and Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. Uh, and I think, what a great legacy to have of one's life. Can you imagine if it could be put on your gravestone? He did all that the Lord had commanded him. She did all that the Lord had commanded her. What a great legacy. And this is the legacy of Noah and his family. And it's really remarkable when you look at this story, uh, a couple things that stand out to me from chapter 7. Um, first of all, how the ark is an image of the people of God on the waves of time. And here we are, uh, the church, another word for the church, right, is the fellowship, which is the largest ship in the world, is the fellowship of the church. And God's people were like those people. We're here in a boat floating on, this, on the waves of time. We're all in this together. Uh, and also I think it's interesting that Noah is told to bring all the opposites, male and female, clean and unclean, flying and crawling, that all the opposites are brought together and are in the ark. So there's a sense of oneness, of wholeness, uh, if you will. The whole circle of life is present in that ark. And when I think of people in the Bible who had some of the toughest tasks or jobs, Noah has got to be in the top ten. I mean, to have built the ark, gathered, got all these animals right down to the crawling things of the ground, uh, all those creatures into an ark to care for them, feed them, clean up after them, deal with his family, uh, deal with the uncertainty of being in the storm. And, and the waters, we're told in the final verse of chapter 7, the waters swelled on the earth for 150 days. Uh, and this is not a carnival or Norwegian cruise trip they're taking for 150 days. This is in stormy weather with smells that we can't even imagine. And yet, what is the legacy of Noah? He did all that the Lord had commanded him. May those words be able to be spoken of you and of me.